my dear students welcome to my channel learning hub so in my previous video i covered about expressions in this the agenda of this video is uh, statements statement flow of control and if statement now expression i told you the expression is a combination of identifier literals and operators but statement is anything which is which is an instruction which is the instruction given to the computer to do something may it be printing may it be taking input from the user or it can be iterative also again and again if you want we can execute the statement so statement is divided into three categories first one is empty empty statement as the name indicates empty means it does not do anything so there is only one empty statement that is pass pa when this statement is executed it doesn't do anything directly the control will flow to the next line so the next statement is simple statement simple statement is a one line statement like if we are taking input from the user using int input enter a number or we are printing anything all these command which is written in the single line are simple statement for example if i am writing print computer science so this is a simple statement which which is of single line then next is compound statement now the compound statement is Uh, it's not a single statement when multiple statements form a compound statement means there is a condition check or a header line is there after header line we have a header line is it has a header line followed by colon after colon is there when we will press enter the indent is given means the further statements will begin from here so this indent is known as block this state uh, this this these statements are known as block of this particular statement so all these form compound statements now next thing is statement flow control what is statement flow control when we are executing any program in what fashion it is executed means in what way the program is getting executed is known as statement flow control means when interpreter is executing this line after that it will move to this line after that it will move to this line in this way means one by one if statements are being executed it is known as sequence statement flow sequence suppose this next one is selection selection means suppose i want to buy a buy a sari so i have to select if it is of green color then i'll buy sari if it is of red color i'll not buy sari so there is a selection criteria there is a condition if we are testing the condition to select anything it will become selection statement so the flow of control is suppose one statement is executed then second is executed after that a condition is checked condition if condition is true these blocks of statements are executed if condition is false these blocks of statements are executed and finally it is ended so in this way the selection procedure works means when suppose a statement is there a second statement is there after that i feel that i should check a condition so a condition is checked if condition is true then a particular block of statements are executed if condition is false second block of statements are executed that is why it is known as selection statement flow uh, of control next is iteration iteration means repetition of steps again and again means a block of statements are again and again 
repeated till the condition false occurred. Suppose in this a condition is checked. If condition is true, that particular block of statement is executed. Again, that means if, suppose if you want to print uh, 100 numbers, suppose I want to print 100, 100 times. So what we will do? We can write print 100. If I want to print 5 times, 6 times, we can write. If we want to print 100 times, it will be difficult for us to write. In this case, we use the iteration technique in which we have a condition. We have a, an iteration statement followed by colon and the, till the condition is true, that particular single statement or block of statements are executed till the condition is matched. The example of iteration statement is for and while. So we will start with, first of all, we will start with uh, selection statement. Selection. Sequence, we have already done normally in previous video also. Whatever we were doing in expressions or in logical commands, whatever we were doing, that was simple statement means one statement was executed after that second one, after that third one in sequence. The second one is selection, that is if. Now, if the syntax is, if is written, after that we write condition, followed by colon, when we will press enter, it will, the cursor will move to this, this place, means this space is left, this is indent. This space is left, when we will right at the block of uh, multiple statements this is known as block of if now in this block it is executed if the condition is true so first of all and uh, if the after this a statement is here in this case what will happen because it is outside this block it is not the part of if it will be executed even if condition is false and this block of statement will be executed only if the condition is true. Now we will take one example that is to find whether number is even or odd. So I have taken input from the user x is equal to int input enter a number. I want to find whether a number is even or not. So if we are dividing what is the condition of being even number means it should be divisible by 2. Divisible by 2 means it the remainder should be 0. So mod operators always operator always return a remainder. So we will we will divide the number we will find the remainder if remainder is 0 in that case it will print even. Now suppose I want to find whether the number is even or odd means when it is not even obviously it should be odd there are two types of number either even or odd so it should be odd only so what if this condition is false so after this after the condition is false then it should go to the another block of statement that is else if we are not using else this is simple if and if we are using else then it will become else if statement uh, if else statement. So else we can write print odd. So in this way if and else works. So we will go to second example. Now this is the example number 2 in which we want to find whether the roots of an equation are real or imaginary. So roots of the equation can be found if when we first we will take the values of a b and c this is a normal a b c that is uh, it is the value in the equation so x i have taken a variable that will calculate b square minus 4 ac that is if it is negative in that case the roots are imaginary because if after when we will call, um, calculate the roots the root the equation of root is minus b plus minus under, under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So if this is negative number, so root can, if, if this is negative, 
obviously roots will not be calculated and the roots are imaginary so we have to find whether roots of this the following equation means uh, the equation which have value a b c as entered by the user have imaginary roots or real roots so we will first calculate b square minus 4 ac now it can be negative negative means it should be less than 0 so we will check here if x is less than 0 in that case it will print roots are imaginary else now this is the block of if after the block of if finished it will go out now else print roots are real this is the else block you can see the colon here once you will press enter automatically you will find your cursor here now this will be the block of if now if you want to go back so you have to press backspace key automatically your cursor will come here now this is else it is in this index and once you will press enter your cursor will come here that is this is block of else so in this way we implement if and else now i will quickly demonstrate this on my laptop so my dear students this is a simple program of simple if without else that i have written for you it is a program to find area of a circle or a square so it is menu driven program in which user have to input uh, the choice whether he want to find the area of a circle or area of a square if he will enter one so choice it will uh, the user will enter the choice if it will enter one then area of circle will be calculated area of circle is pi r square 22 by 7 into radius into radius so it will print the area of circle if choice is 2 in that case it will print the area of a square so there is no l statement in this program this is simple if i'll run this program and i'll show you function f5 find the if you want to uh, find area of a circle press 1 it will ask the radius suppose 3.5 then area will be 38.5 now i'll run it again to find area of a circle um, area of a square suppose i have entered 2 it will ask for side suppose side is 3 so area of a square is 9.0 now second program is to simple if else means if you want which i have already explained find to find whether the number is even or odd so user will enter the number it will divide the number and find the remainder this is mode operator which returns the remainder so if remainder is 0 it means it is even number and if remainder is odd it will print uh, so if remainder is not 0 it will print odd i'll run this program function f5 enter number suppose i have entered 5 it 5 is odd now again i'll run this control function f5 number suppose this time i have entered even number 4 is even this this is the second example now the third example which already i have explained means uh, to find the roots of an equation so a b c will be entered by the user these are coefficients it will be entered by the user determinant d is equal to b square minus 4 ac this we have to check whether it is less than 0 or not if it is less than 0 it means roots are imaginary if it is not less than 0 it means that uh, root can be calculated and here is the block which will calculate the root so root 1 is equal to if uh, it is less than 0 it will print roots are imaginary otherwise it will calculate the root by the formula minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 ac that is d to the uh, to the power 1 by 2 because it is the square root that means power 1 by 2 upon 2a and then finally we will print the roots i'll run this program function f5 suppose i am entering 2 
b 3 4 5 so if you will calculate this b square means minus 4 ac b square means 9 minus 4 ac means uh, 2 5 z 10 10 into 4 that is 40 so it will be negative hence the uh, this block if block will be executed now another condition i will run it again value of a suppose 2 value of b suppose 8 value of c suppose 3 now in this case the roots will not be imaginary so the uh, as b square minus 4 ac will not evaluate to 0 you can see the roots are calculated that is first root is this one and second root is this so my dear students i hope you understood this concept so if you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you and have a nice day.